Shattered Vows, A Perfect Love Built on Lies, Unraveled by Secrets. Mia had always been careful with her heart, cautious in the way she let people in. But Daniel was different. From the moment they met, she felt a magnetic pull toward him, as if the universe had aligned just right. His dark, brooding eyes held promises of a future she could almost touch, of a love that would last forever. They moved quickly, the kind of whirlwind romance that swept them both off their feet. A few months in, Daniel proposed, and Mia, despite her reservations, said yes. Everything felt right, as if she had finally found the missing piece of herself. Their wedding was intimate, with only close friends and family, and they exchanged vows by the sea, with the sun sinking into the horizon like a whispered secret. It was all perfect, too perfect. For the first year, everything was bliss. They shared quiet mornings, long conversations over dinner, and moments of pure connection that Mia had never experienced before. But soon, small cracks began to appear. Daniel started coming home late, with excuses that seemed too rehearsed. His phone, once casually placed on the counter, was now always in his pocket or face down. Mia noticed the change, but convinced herself that it was just the stress of work. But she couldn't shake the feeling that something was off. One evening, while Daniel was in the shower, Mia's curiosity got the better of her. She unlocked his phone, a skill she'd learned by accident, but had never used, until now. Her heart raced as she scrolled through his messages, but to her surprise, there was nothing. No hidden chats, no evidence of infidelity, just the usual mundane conversations with colleagues. She felt a mixture of relief and guilt. Maybe she was being paranoid, overthinking things as she sometimes did. The following weekend, Mia decided to confront him, not about the phone, but about the distance between them. She planned a romantic dinner, hoping to recreate the intimacy they once shared. As they sat by candlelight, sipping wine, she gently broached the subject. Daniel, is everything okay between us? You've been... distant. He looked at her, eyes soft, but there was something unreadable in them. I've been meaning to talk to you, he said, his voice unusually calm. There's something I need to tell you. Mia's stomach nodded. This was it, the moment she had feared. He was going to admit he was seeing someone else, that their perfect love story was unraveling. I've been hiding something from you, he continued, leaning forward. But it's not what you think. Mia's pulse quickened. What is it? I'm not who you think I am. He paused, gauging her reaction. My name isn't Daniel. I've been living a lie. Mia froze. The air felt thick, suffocating. What are you talking about? Daniel, or whoever he was, looked down, the weight of his confession hanging in the air. I've been part of a witness protection program. I had to change my identity after I witnessed something. Dangerous. My real name is Ethan, and the life I've built with you. It was never supposed to happen. Mia stared at him, disbelief and anger swirling inside her. So everything between us was a lie? No, not everything, he said quickly. I love you, Mia. That's real. But I never meant to involve you in this. I'm in danger, and now, so are you. Mia's world spun. She felt betrayed, manipulated. And yet, a small part of her still wanted to believe him. Before she could respond, there was a knock at the door. Daniel's face paled. He stood up abruptly, his eyes wide with fear. Mia, listen to me, he whispered urgently. No matter what happens, trust that I did this to protect you. Confused, Mia stood as well, her heart hammering in her chest. The knock came again, louder this time. Without warning, the door burst open, and two men in dark suits entered, guns drawn. But they weren't aiming at Daniel. They were aiming at Mia. Step away from him, one of the men ordered. You're under arrest. Mia blinked, her mind reeling. What? What are you talking about? The man stepped forward, his expression cold. You've been playing us long enough, Mia. Or should I say, Emily? Daniel, Ethan, looked at her in shock. Wait, what? 
Mia's calm demeanor returned, and she smiled, a cold, calculated smile that sent chills down Daniel's spine. Oh, darling, she said softly, you're not the only one with secrets. As the agents cuffed her, Mia, or Emily, leaned in close to Daniel's ear. You were just the perfect cover, she whispered. It's a shame, really. I did love you. But this was never about us. And just like that, the woman Daniel thought he knew was gone, replaced by a stranger with a life he never could have imagined. The love story was over. The deception had only just begun. Subscribe and follow us for more thrilling stories that will keep you on the edge of your seat.